In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about automotive racing, specifically Formula One. For those that don't really know what Formula One is, I'm just going to give you a basic tutorial. And there's a link to a web channel in which you can learn a lot about Formula One and race cars in general. That'll be in the description. But anyway, Formula One is a series that's referred to as open wheel racing. That means the wheels are totally exposed. They aren't hidden behind bodywork. Another thing that specific can be described as Formula One is that it is a single seat. There is no spot for a passenger. Even a Chevrolet Corvette has two seats. This is only one. Now, a lot of people might assume that they stop raining in or stop racing in the rain. And but you'll notice that they don't. Today it was raining at the start of the race. But what they did was they effectively started on what they call intermediate tires. These are tires that have a small groove every now and then. And if it really starts raining, they've got another set of tires that are called full wets. And those tires can handle a lot of rain. They talk about how many gallons per minute those tires pump. Okay, next topic. That's the engine. In the past, they've used everything from V8s to V12s to a variety of other things. Right now, what they've got is a turbo V6, and it's technically a hybrid, like a Toyota Prius or something. However, these are a very different system. In this case, a the turbo has a motor generator attached to it. As the turbo is spun up, it sends some of the energy into the battery. Once in the battery, it can be stored there until needed, and then it helps spin the turbo back up. Because otherwise, it takes a little bit for the turbo to get going. In addition, there's a second motor generator in the rear axle. And this helps much more like the regular Prius. It starts, it basically runs the car. And then when needed, it powers, or it can start the engine, it can do a variety of other things. You can even run on an electric power only for a little while. Okay, back to tires. As far as dry weather tires are concerned, this is a little different. Because they currently have a variety of different compounds that Pirelli brings. And they're the only manufacturer currently of tires in Formula One. But it, teams have a choice of three tires, and they must use at least two different compounds during the race unless they use the rain tires. Now, each car is going to have a wing on the front and on the back. These are very fragile, and fortunately, the front one can be fairly quickly replaced. The back one's a bit of a pain. But I've seen teams do it on the grid, or at least replace part of the rear wing. 
There's a variety of other things that you start seeing. Each team has to run two cars, which is effectively a specific driver. However, sometimes they switch drivers around in the middle of the season. Each team basically gets the points that their driver earns. So there's one driver earns 25 points for a win, and the other driver earns only one point for 10th place. The team gets 26 points. Now there currently are 20, or start at 25 points for the win, as I said, and then it steps down from there till you reach 10th, and then it's one point. After that, you don't get any points, and there's 10 more spots to go. But anyway, you got a whole lot of other possibilities. Now, what the manufacturers really want is the constructors' championship. Remember, if that in that situation I described earlier, they get twenty six points, but they don't get a penny for if the drivers win their championship. It's their it's the manufacturer championship they want, and both of these championships are driven by sponsorship dollars and. Anytime these drivers are out in public near a track, official business, you'll see them covered in logos and same for the rest of the team. Their cars are plastered with logos. It's amazing that a Formula One car can drive, in theory, upside down because it's going so fast that it would be held in place on an upside down pavement. Now, once it stopped, it'd fall. But while it's racing along, it basically doesn't have a problem. It generates so much downforce when this car is upside down, it's up force, I guess, but that it overcomes the gravity. The downforce is more than the car's weight. He had just lost his health insurance and needed his medication. He wasn't sure if he could afford rent. Now, these cars accelerate extremely fast, but they also decelerate extremely fast. They have so much drag that simply letting off the gas is three Gs of acceleration from where I understand deceleration. That's a lot. They can also corner readily. Now remember those tires or wheels are out exposed. Any contact causes or readily causes suspension damage. And when those wings break or the something else breaks, that leaves nice little sharp edges for tires to get cut on. Carbon fiber can be really, really sharp. So basically, that's what you gotta be careful of if you're a Formula One driver. In Formula One, drivers commonly start in Formula One. Well, they start before that, I guess, in karting, and then they move up through various open wheel formats. Most of them are feeder series to the main Formula One. But eventually you reach Formula One, give or take age 20. Verstappen was, wasn't even 18 yet, but most of them are 20 or older. If you don't reach Formula One by then, chances are you're not going to reach it. Once there, you've commonly got, assuming you're a really good driver, up to 
20 years of driving. By age 40, you're probably going to be really struggling. The G-forces are tremendous. You get thrown side to side. You get thrown forward and back by the acceleration and deceleration. There, Michael Schumacher kept racing and after he returned until age 43, but he never won another race. Now, the current champion, and quite possibly the champion for 2020, is Alex <sighs> Hamilton. Not Alexander Hamilton. Another Hamilton. But anyway, he's currently driving for Mercedes, and he's got five championships with them, and one with McLaren. He almost got a championship with McLaren in his rookie season, which would be incredibly rare. He only lost by one point. Now, it's due to cost reasons. These cars cost a lot to build. They're talking about various things to rank us in because some of these teams just can't keep going. And who knows what's going to happen. But we're hoping that they actually manage it, keep it going. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and share. Hit the bell so you get notified about future and videos. Definitely let other people know about my feed. Thank you. Bye.